One of the more popular full-bodied red wines today is the Australian Shiraz. Whether you're at a restaurant looking at the wine list or you're just popping by a local liquor store, Australian Shiraz is always a great bet to go for. Because of the genre of the grape and the climate, like Barossa Valley, where it's very hot, tends to give off aromas of a lot of berry fruits like blackberry, cassis, some plum. It also gives off notes of espresso, a little bit of cocoa, and very traditionally in the Shiraz grape, it gives off some black pepper spice notes. So a lot of people that uh, tend to lean towards the more new world red wines like California or Australia also say they have this affinity for Spanish Riojas. Because of the type of oak barrels that they use, it makes the wines full bodied, but in a very chocolatey, vanilla, cinnamon spice way. The grape that they use, the primary grape they use to make Rioja is Tempranillo, which is not necessarily a really, really full grape, but it is, again, the type of oak that they use that make these really creamy, full-bodied, beautiful wines. So Tuscany is a very classic, traditional Italian winemaking region. They're known for their Chiantis, which is primarily a Sangiovese grape. But with time and because of some industry changes, we've seen more frequently uh, a wine that is known as Super Tuscans. Super Tuscans are wines that are made by winemakers that decided to use majority Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, as opposed to the Sangiovese gra grape that's used for Chianti. Because of these grape varieties and the type of oak that they use, they're creating more full-bodied, a little bit more richer in uh, chocolate or vanilla, but then also have this nice bursting black and red fruit. Now the great thing about about Tuscany is that it still maintains uh, that traditional Italian aroma of wet soil, earth and mineral, like black mushroom, uh, forest floor, and these are the aromas that you want to look for when you're, when you're asking for a Tuscan wine.